Hi, my name is Rich Harrington, and I want to walk you through two of my favorite Photoshop plugins. Now, I've opened up a RAW file and have taken advantage of some of the things that Camera Raw can do to help me really recover details here in the shadows and highlights and put in some contrast. But the challenge, if we look at this, is that it really lacks depth and detail. It's a very flat histogram. So I'll click the workflow options and make sure that I'm opening this up in Photoshop as a smart object. Now when I click the open button, the raw data is handed off to the Photoshop layer. And this gives us a lot of detail to work with. Now let's run this through Skylum's Aurora HDR. Now Aurora is thought of as an HDR application, but it can also be run as a Photoshop plugin to bring out depth and detail you'll see here that it's going to maximize the tone and I'll tell it to reduce any chromatic aberration because we have some really high details in the high contrast scene. What it's going to do is analyze each part of the pixels and find the most information. If we look at that, you see it really brought out depth, detail, and color. And look at that histogram, just a tremendous amount of more detail. Now what we can do is really balance this out. I can further recover the highlights to bring back some of those details, and if I wanted, lift the shadows. There's also the excellent Smart Tone slider that allows you to adjust the overall exposure without seeing a shift in color. That works great. We'll just put a little bit of richness into the blacks, and that's really come to life. Now, we can take advantage of color contrast for a nice, rich color and clarity to bring out some additional detail. If you like the clarity slider on a normal image, you should love HDR clarity to bring out depth. All right, that looks good. And let's just take a look at a couple more things. We'll cut down on the glare with the polarizer. And with the adjustable gradient, I can create a nice transition to the bottom here and tell the bottom of the photo to get a little darker and a little less rich in color, but warmer so that it pulls your eye up to the subject. All right, that's looking so much better. Just look at the depth and detail there on the crown with the spikes, before Aurora and after. So much lost information was rescued from that file. All right, I'll click the Apply button, and the results of the filter are handed off to Photoshop. Now the image is going to update. And we can take advantage of our next filter, which is perfectly clear from Athentech. Now, this is great at bringing out additional depth and detail. Let's just simplify this here for a second, and we'll set the looks all the way down to zero. And under the preset category, I'm going to go to the great outdoors, and I see several presets to choose from. Bird exposure, not bad. This isn't exactly a bird, but it is an animal sitting in a tree. And we've got some other options here. Desert, fields of color, not bad. I think what I want to do, though, is go on over to the details category and try razor sharp. I like that. Now we just have a sharpening pass that's further bringing out the details. If I take a look at this at 100%, I can really judge what's happening. And I see a nice enhancement in the sharpening to really bring out depth and definition. Now, as you sharpen, you can start to introduce some noise. So I would suggest also using the noise reduction algorithm to clean this up. And that did a great job of preserving the depth and detail in the wrinkles and the skin here without introducing new noise. Under the color tools here, you can also use color restore, which is going to bring out the richness of the blacks in the image. That looks great. And let's just do a slight tint correction and zoom out. Now some of the color cast has been minimized and I'm just going to back that off with the default method so it's not quite so strong, much more subtle adjustment on tint. All right, looks good. We can go ahead and enhance the foliage a bit. Let's bring out the brown first and a little bit of the greens for tropical forest. There we go, and you see it targets those greens nicely. All right, I like where that's going, and now we'll just finish it off using the graduated filter. This lets me create my vignette now, and I can place the center exactly on the subject. 
Now, using the controls, we can define things like the shape of the vignette. There we go. Let's get that right on the subject. And the size, as well as the feather or the transition. And we can control the inside to make adjustments or the outside. For example, darkening down the outside edges a little bit and playing with the shadow point and the highlights or white point so we still have nice great details and not total murkiness down below. But I'll back off the color just a little bit for the area on the outside and further tone down the exposure. All right, that looks great. If we take a look at that side by side, I see a nice enhancement as the image continues to get built up. Now, from the looks category, I could take a look at different choices. I really like these color film stocks, and with a single click, I could apply a filmic type recipe to enhance the response of the image and how color and tone is handled. I think this light film is the way to go, and I'll just back off the strength of the look ever so slightly. There we go. And I like that. If we take a look at the before and after, just a nice enhancement to contrast, depth, detail, and color. I'll click the Apply button, and all the results are handed back off to Photoshop. There you have it, the new resulting image, thanks to two great plugins working together to enhance the raw image inside of Adobe Photoshop.